Good morning. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, as you can tell, if you are um, a subscriber and you've been watching my videos, you can tell that I'm in a completely new location. I am actually working today. So I am filming a quick little video um, while I have a little bit of a break. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, some stuff that I've been kind of dealing with um, since surgery. So um, for those of you that have been following me in my journey, um, I had the gastric sleeve procedure done on February 8th this year, 2019. And I have been having a lot of complications, whether it's constipation, not being able to eat, not moving on, um, like through the stages of um, food that I should be able to eat and things have just been a little hectic and um, I actually have kind of gone through some stuff the last two weeks and I wanted to fill you guys in on what that was and how I fixed it. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay guys, so let's talk about the things that have been happening over the last few days. Drinking some coffee, so hang on. And yes, it's decaf. Oh, but it's so good. Okay, um, so the things that have been happening to me the last two weeks. Um, so I was at six weeks whenever everything kind of started I, at six weeks, I started noticing that there was a problem. And so I just kind of kept monitoring and kept telling my doctors. And I talked to a few people who have had um, the gastric sleeve surgery and got their input on it and, and everything like that and realized that what I was going through was not what they were telling me I was going through. Um, the, I was having unrecognizable feelings with my body and it wasn't just that getting full sensation. I literally could take a bite of anything that wasn't a liquid. I mean, a pureed or uh, mechanical soft and then a solid, any of that, I could take a little bite of, chew it up 30, 40, 50 times in my mouth, get it completely masticated, and then swallow it, and it would get stuck right here and I'd wait five, seven, ten minutes to be able to take another bite. And even then, it would still kind of be here. Like a little bit of it would go down, so the pressure was a little less over time, but it was still there. Um, and I knew that that just didn't sound right to me. And so I did kind of my own research, and what sounded to me like a stricture is what I had within my esophagus uh, to my stomach line. And a stricture is just an obstruction um, within your esophagus. Um, it could be like a kink in, in the esophagus or, um, or an actual obstruction, um, like swelling or, or something like that with, of the esophagus. And so that's what it felt like to me. I had never really felt the feeling of being full with the gastric sleeve because I was never able to eat enough to feel that way except when I was doing liquids and even then the type of full that you get from liquids compared to the type of full you get from solids or semi-solids is a completely different feeling and those of you that have gone through this probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I was never able to really feel that fullness and because I couldn't eat much because it would get stuck right here and I have hella bad uh, acid reflux, um, art reflux. Um, so basically what I ended up having to do is my um, third doctor's visit, I told my doctor the issues that I was having and that things weren't getting better and then I had tried to just go back on a liquid diet um, because that's all that I could get down were liquids 
or at least get down comfortably and within like an okay amount of time. So my doctor actually said that what it sounded like was going on was that I could potentially have a stricture um, that, um, or I could just be slow to heal um, and just have to be doing liquids when other people, you know, that have had the surgery are able to move on to solids. Cause you know, every body is different. Um, and we're all on our own journey, but I, I felt like there was something wrong with my body. Um, it just, it wasn't a normal norm, if that makes sense. But anyway, so um, after talking with my doctor and um, that jazz, he actually that day uh, wanted me to get an emergency upper GI. So I went into a room where a doctor of some kind did a upper GI on me. Um, they had me drink a, I think it was barium. It was like a barium liquid, a uh, real thick, chalky, had a strawberry aftertaste that was just awful. Um, it tastes like somebody took like strawberry Tums, crushed them up, poured milk in it, and then served it to me. It, it was, it was awful. <laughs> it was really not good. Um, but they have you lay down on an x-ray machine and have you drink this so then it they watch how you drink and that kind of stuff and he said I had a weak esophagus he said that my esophagus uh, muscles were very aged for my age um, I am 32 and he said that my esophagus was working like a 60 to 7 year old 60 to 70 year, year old person, um, which he was like, I'm sad to hear that, you know, whatever. And, and then they asked me, you know, if I was bulimic ever or uh, anything like that. And I was like, no, like I have literally just been almost every day since surgery throwing up thinking that it was just the dumping syndrome, which it was a mix of that. Um, but, you know, I, but then come to find out um, let's see, my appointment was on Tuesday to meet with him. On Wednesday, I ended up having another procedure. So I had the, um, uh, I had the upper GI done and then immediately had an EDG or EGD. I get those two mixed up all the time. Uh, when I'm talking about this but it was basically just they put a scope down my throat into my esophagus to check and see if there was any obstruction or anything like that and down into my stomach and then the very beginning of my small intestines um, so I had to be put I had to I had to be sedated for that um, don't remember like anything about it they put like a mouth thing in like a, a thing to keep my mouth open um, and that's the last thing I remember. Um, but coming out of that, they told me that I had two strictures. So I knew <laughs> that there was something wrong with my body. Knew it. Called it. Maybe I should be a health professional. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of blood, so that is not going to happen. But um, anyway, so I had two strictures and then I have a hiatal hernia. Um, they went ahead and put, um, like they would, they feed, um, different size, like scoping materials or whatever down your esophagus to like get it to gradually enlarge. Um, so every time they put a new, a different tube down, it's just slightly larger every time, um, until they get rid of whatever the ailment is. So mine happened to be two strictures, which is why I was having problems getting food down and why it was coming back up. Um, and then the hiatal hernia exists. Um, apparently I had the hiatal hernia when I had surgery, but it was not, it wasn't um, like a huge deal like it was real tiny kind of like the the baby beginnings of a hernia but it could have gone hernia or healing itself um but it ended up you know obviously it has grown um 
so there's that so two strictures and a hiatal hernia later um, I finally yesterday and the day before was able to eat um, you know X amount of, of food like actual solid foods um, yeah and I feel really good about it because I was super scared as you guys know you know I talked about the dumping syndrome and and regret and all that kind of stuff but knowing that there was something wrong with me um, and now it's in the process of getting fixed like my my strictures are gone but that might only last you know for six months or so so I might end up having to go back in and getting that done again or it could be permanent you know there's no telling but getting that fixed has lowered my acid reflux um, it has increased my ability to consume uh, solid foods and overall has just made me feel a lot better about things because now I know you know and now they know and now we all know you know so just be mindful of your body and things that are going on if it just doesn't seem right go with your gut instinct you know tell them exactly what you're thinking I should have just been like dude I might have a stricture you need to hook me up but you know I didn't want to say that to a health professional and me just getting on like Google yeah I'm a health professional I googled it so I have it but anyway I digress so if you are having issues contact your doctor it is normal to have some discomfort I mean you're going to feel fullness in a different way now if as long as that's what's going on um, otherwise if you're really concerned about it definitely ask a doctor for a checkup I mean seriously you have no idea this last procedure that I had done the EDG or EGD whatever it was the endoscopy tubular thing is bomb like that saved saved my um, excitement it it saved me from thinking that this was gonna be the worst decision of my life so there's that all right guys thanks for sitting with me outside while I jibber jabber about my weight loss journey because that's why you're here that's why I'm here ooh it's cold outside but my coffee's still warm mm, that's good stuff all right guys I'll see y'all later please like and subscribe to my channel I attempt to put out a new video um, bi-weekly but sometimes it's more sometimes it's less it just kind of depends on what's happening with this and if anything new arises I let you guys know ASAP okay I'll see y'all later bye